Hi, welcome to the first of what I hope will be an amazing series of videos to help you play awesome guitar. In this video I'm going to show you a favorite trick of mine that will help you finger pick arpeggios. So first off, well what's an arpeggio? Well it's basically a chord, but instead of strumming it, it's played one note at a time. You'll find arpeggios in most any musical style such as Baroque, Bluegrass, or Hair Metal. So, Here's a basic example. Now, if this seems a little bit familiar, it might be because it's the one that's used in Metallica's Nothing Else Matters. So I call it the, well, let's call it the Metallica riff. Here's basically the same pattern, but over a sequence of chords, for instance. of the rising sun. I've noticed that when learning to finger pick arpeggios we all start off by making the same mistake. We look at our picking hand to see where we put our fingers. And this will not do. Not only does this look kind of weird but it distracts us from other aspects of our playing. The second mistake that we make when we pluck a string is that we yank our hand away from the string. Again we don't want to do this. The further our fingers are from the strings the harder it is for our fingers to find the right strings to play afterwards, and the more tempted we are to look at our picking hand. But as luck would have it, we can correct both of these mistakes simply by having the picking hand in the correct position with respect to the strings and keeping it there. Better still, there's a trick that I'm going to show you for doing just that. And best of all, my imaginary friend, Captain Blue Hand, has agreed to help us out. Thanks, Blue! So now, with the help of Captain Blue Hand, we're going to use that Metallica riff as an example. We're going to start off by placing the thumb on the low E string, the index finger on the G string, the middle finger on the B string, and the ring finger on the high E string. Now slowly pluck the low E string with your thumb without taking your fingers off the other strings. You pluck the string by articulating your thumb, not by moving any other part of your hand. Now this may feel weird, but try it a couple times, each time trying to do it a little bit more smoothly than the previous one. Okay, now slowly pluck the G string with your index finger, again without moving the remaining two fingers from their positions on their respective strings. Don't pull up your hand. Instead, the only movement is in your finger. It's the same kind of movement as if you were scratching a mosquito bite. Again, try this a couple of times, each time trying to do it a little more smoothly than the last. So I think you can see where this is going. Slowly pluck the B string with your middle finger, keeping your ring finger, the last remaining finger, on the E string. And of course, try this a couple of times. Don't let your ring finger leave the E string. All right, you should notice that by maintaining one or more fingers on the strings, your picking hand stays in place. But now it's time to pluck the high E string with your ring finger. This time you won't have another finger to anchor your hand in place. So your mission is to pluck this string as if you had another finger to anchor your hand in place, even though you don't. Don't let your hand bounce away from your strings. Again, try this a few times, as if you were scratching an itch. Now we're going to play all these strings again, but just once for each finger. Before we do, again, place your thumb and fingers all on the respective strings. This reinforces that connection that each finger has with each string. Now that your fingers are back in place, Pluck each string once, starting with your thumb, then the index, and then the middle finger, and finally the ring finger, keeping each finger in place until it's turned to play. And when you're done, place your thumb and fingers back on their respective strings. Now repeat the process, always keeping your fingers in place until it's their turn to play. always place your fingers back on their 
respective strings at the end of each cycle. But wait, are we missing a few notes? <laughs> That's right. To play the Nothing Else Matters arpeggio, we need to add two notes to the sequence. So after we play the high E string with the ring finger, we want to replay the B string with the middle finger and then the G string with the index finger. For example, now the B string and the G string. So watch out, you're going to play these strings without the benefit of having a finger anchored on another string. So you really have to make sure that your picking hand maintains its steady position. Immediately afterwards, you return your fingers back to their starting position. So it should look and sound like this. That's it. The essence of this trick is that by bringing your fingers back to their respective strings systematically every time, you reinforce that correct position for your picking hand, and over time your hand learns how to best position itself over your strings. Of course there are zillions of different arpeggio patterns out there, and you won't always have your fingers on these same strings. This is particularly true for the thumb, which can move around quite a bit. But this exercise will put you on the right path, again by reinforcing the habit of keeping your picking hand steady and in the right place. Eventually, you'll get used to doing arpeggios without always using this trick. Myself, I set my fingers on the strings at the beginning of a piece, and occasionally just to verify that my hand is in the right place while I'm playing. Well, that's all for now. Thanks, Captain Blue Hand. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If so, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. And until then, see you in Guitar Land.